This video is for those of you brand new to Tinkercad. So we're going to tinkercad.com, type in that in the top there, find in that URL, and you're gonna say join now um, in the top right corner there. And then you're gonna go create an account and all that stuff using your school email and your normal school password, just so you don't forget it. And then, um, I already have an account, so I'm gonna be logging in here. And when you first come in, it's gonna try and walk you through a tutorial. Um, you can go ahead and do that tutorial, but once you wanna start designing your own thing, click on the Tinkercad logo in the top left corner, and it's gonna take you back to your home screen here. And you're going to create a new design right here when you wanna start designing your first uh, design. So clicking on that, um, a couple basics that we're going to look at is this is your work area um, and all these are different shapes you can pull out onto your, your work area and manipulate to build things. And then we have even more fancier shapes. We're under basic shapes right now. So um, over here on the left is all our view controls. We can grab this box and spin it around and look at it from different angles. We also have the home view which takes us back to where we started from. Um, and then a couple other ones here as well. Uh, we are going to be designing for the laser cutter where most of this software was designed for 3D printing. So we're gonna have a little, a uh, couple tricks or things to keep in mind when we're designing this so that it comes out well for laser cutting. So if we wanna start putting things down here on the screen, I can click on a box for example and put that there if I grab the white icons, I can make it bigger or smaller or change the size, also by typing in numbers here. These numbers are all in millimeters right now. If you want to change your units, you can change them to inches here. Most of our shapes will also have some other things we can control on it here, like how rounded the corners are. Um, but when designing for um, the laser cutter, the biggest thing is to realize that we are going to be cutting uh, on a flat surface out of a flat piece of wood. So uh, things like spheres are not going to work out very well because you're only going to get what is touching this blue surface here. So that circle, that sphere, excuse me, is not going to work out very well. Where this square, this block here that's rectangular, is going to work, that whole rectangle is touching that blue surface. So you can start building your shapes. Notice you'll have kind of a 3D view. If you click orthographic, sometimes that makes it a little easier to design. Now I'm looking straight down on it. And you can put some triangles out there. Oh, but that's not looking like a triangle shape that I want. Realize sometimes you have to come to the side and rotate your shape to be uh, the shape you're looking at. And now if you click on that top view again, it'll go back to the top. And you can manipulate things like so. And the other cool thing you can do is if you make this block tall enough, it's going all the way through, I can also make a hole out of that, which gets us to our next tool. Um, if I select more than one thing here, at the top here, I have a bunch of controls that are going to say group, ungroup, align, flip, and a bunch of different things here. These are like editing tools. Um, we have a line is a nice one. I can align it left and right. I can align it up and down um, and a bunch of different things there. So maybe I wanted that nice and centered where it's not centered right there. So using that align tool, it's going to line things up. It's a nice little tool to use. Now, the cool thing about making something a whole, like I did with this triangle, is that if I put it like that, and I want to cut away this triangle out of this block here, I can select both of them. And with that one being a hole, I'll say group. And now it has cut away that piece there. Um, and a couple little tips for you. That's the real basics here. You can go through and put text and play around with things here. A couple tips though. Uh, big mistakes people make is realizing when you go to export, if your piece is up there um, and not touching that blue surface, this block is not going to work either. You got to bring it down so it's touching 
or even better if it's just slicing through the center here, it will one hundred percent definitely show up. so when in doubt, bring it down a little bit like that and when you're ready to export, we're going to say export right up here so we can do it for 3D printing, which is not what we're going to do. We're going to use laser cutter right there. And now we have the laser cutter file saved. That's going to be in your Google Drive if you're using a Chromebook. And then when you are ready to laser cut, we will come over here to a new tab and we're going to app.glowforge. There's a login code that's posted on the wall there. Some of your classmates will point it out to you, or I will if I'm here. And we're going to say, uh, we're going to just grab that and pull it on the screen here. And let's see what happens here. Takes a little moment here. Oh, I was just doing something a moment ago. So let's make that bigger so we can really see it. You can see that's the the shape I made, but then it also has this little circle here that was just the very bottom of our sphere that touched, but so our sphere didn't really work out the way we wanted it to. Um, when you're ready to laser cut, you're going to place it on the piece of wood uh, wherever you want, and you are going to say, uh, if you want it to cut all the way through, we're going to click on that. If you want it to just draw a line on the wood, like these letters here have done around the outside edges here and here. We're going to say score. There should be a pre-done setting for the wood that we're going to use or some other material. Or we could also do engrave, which really fills in like we see inside the letters here, which takes a long, long time. So typically we are not going to do engrave. We're going to do cuts and scores. They go a lot faster. So. If I say cut, you can see that a little better here. Now it's in red. And there's my shape. I can line it up. And that's the basics of it. Um, play around with it. Tinkercad.com is where you want to be. Play with those shapes, build some stuff, and there'll be more videos to come to walk you through more steps. Enjoy.